This is panel five of the Bicentennial Project. And what we're seeing here is a river landing for steamboats. This scene on the bank of the river in Claiborne allowed us to illustrate what some of the components are in this new economy and how important it was for them to work together in a specific way. The boats here, uh, we have one coming upriver from Mobile, bringing slaves into central Alabama that would then be sold and work on plantations. And then we have another boat going downriver that would be carrying cotton and other goods down to market in Mobile. What we really decided to focus on was one of those terrible moments in history, which was basically the human slave trade. And so we see a, what's a slave coffle, and a slave coffle is simply a way in which human beings that were being sold would be transported in lines of two, chained at the ankles and the wrists, and then to one another in a line of maybe 20 people sometimes. I have a group right in the front depicting men and women, and especially I focused on a pregnant woman. And I decided to focus on that because, you know, when you bought and sold someone, you also owned the rights to their, to their children. Seeing the panel and seeing the pregnant woman with the chain going across her belly, I can't imagine as a mom uh, now having a child and not really having any say so over their life. As it goes through my mind, I'm literally imagining what life would be like in that. And even just the mental thought of seeing this chain across this pregnant lady and she has no voice, she has no control over what's gonna happen to her child or with her child, I can only imagine the pain and hurt. To sculpt something like this, I'll do it to the best of my abilities because it deserves to be brought to light, not as, not as something beautiful, but as something tragic. We were discussing that particular panel. Um, I became a little bit emotional about that panel. What I wanted them to do was not to hide what was happening to these people that these people were not considered human, they were actually considered uh, property or cargo, and that we today need to realize that that was happening. This has happened before, many times before, over various issues, and, and the issues will be different and it will happen in the future, right? And so to be able to deal with that in a more um, sober way, I think, requires that you understand the past. By having a park like the Centennial Park, we equip our young people with the necessary tools to address the unforeseen challenges of the future.